This geek that you're looking at on the screen right now is none other than Nicholas Ox. Or Ox. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce his name and I really don't care because when I don't respect you, I'm not going to pronounce your name properly or care to do so. Anyway, if you guys don't know by now, because somebody sent me this information, I just do, I'm just doing a video on it now. Nicholas Ox is actually the leader of the Proud Boys Hawaii chapter. Yes, this little punk right here, who is now an older man, was one of many people, well, I shouldn't say many, but uh, he was a, a, one of a number of people who were arrested on that assault, that planned out attack at the Capitol a couple of days ago. The bastard came in there with his cohorts, didn't care who got hurt, didn't care who got killed, didn't care how much property was damaged, and decided to take a photo capture of one of his proud boys alongside of him. Says hello from the Capitol, laugh out loud, at 4.13 p.m. January 6, 2021, with a little cigarette in his mouth and posing like it's just another day, and for him it probably is, causing chaos and destruction wherever he goes, along with his foolish team of a bunch of ignorant jackass racists. Not afraid to show off his beliefs here, he just uh, sports his proud boy tattoo, and everybody has the right to believe what they want, even if they're hateful fucking pieces of trash. But you would think that a man like this, a white supremacist, um, that he hates white, he hates, uh, this white man hates black people, right? Because white supremacists believe that they're better, they're more superior to anybody who's not white, especially black people. But I'm pretty sure by now you guys know who his wife is, okay? Married to a black woman. I don't know if she's an African American or an African woman, doesn't even matter. Married to a black woman. This white supremacist who probably calls her all names in the book when they're in bed together. And they share a half-breed child. You don't like what I said, I'm sorry. But that's, that's the child. It's a half-breed child. It's half and half. Okay? And not only that. This dumb bitch actually shares this motherfucker's beliefs. I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to try not to curse anymore. But, you know, when I get angry, it comes out. But I want you to see this. I want you to see this right now, this next image. I have told you people time and time again, when black people get into interracial relationships, they don't win. They lose. They think they're winning because their partner is non-black. Their partner is most times white. They're not winning. This woman takes on this man's beliefs. She believes that Trump and Pence make America great again, not realizing that the definition that they mean when it comes to making America great again does not have her in that America or people that look like her. This is why I call her a dumb bitch. I'm sorry I'm cursing again, but this is why I call her a dumb bitch. And I call these black men who get involved with those types of women on that side in that particular society assholes and idiots because you are only fooling yourself end of story i can't find this bitch's name but uh it says despite being black his wife supports the proud boys far right ideology which many say is akin to nazism she also supports donald trump the man regarded as one of the most racist presidents in recent history he's not the most racist there have been other ones the proud boys are far-right, neo-fascist, and male-only political organization that promotes and engages in political violence in the United States and Canada. The group has been called racist, as its group members have been accused of targeting black people and beating them up. The Proud Boys were out in full force at the Capitol, at the Capitol Hill riots this week, and one person, Nick Ox, is, or whatever his name is, is now begging to stay out of prison. CNN is reporting that Nick is a founder of the Proud Boys. He was at the riots. He's using the excuse that he's not racist because he's married to a black woman. He's using her as a scapegoat. He's using her as an excuse. This is why I say, just because you got white friends, if you're a black person, if you have white friends, you think they don't, they're not racist, you're fooling yourself. They will show their true colors when the time comes. They will either show they're really loyal to you or they're loyal to their own. And most of the time, they're going to be loyal to their own. He is using this woman who is his slave, okay, who is his pet, okay, as a scapegoat, as a reason for him not to go to jail. And like I told you before I even read the article, ladies and gentlemen, these people who get involved, the people from our community, the people from our diaspora that get involved with the people in their society, they take on their beliefs. This woman knows 
what is going on. This woman knows that this man is part of and is a leader of a group of people who look like him, who beat up people that look like her or target people for violence that look like her. But she still married this fucking guy. This is why I say, and this is exactly the reason why I have no respect for any black man or black woman that gets involved with these people. You can tell me about, you know, any relationship with a white man and a black woman together and he treats her. I don't want to fucking know about it. I don't want to know about it at all because guess what? It's bullshit. It's bullshit. I decided to curse. I don't give a fuck. When I get mad, that's what I do. It's bullshit. I'm not trying to hear anybody's excuse anymore. The excuses are dead. They've been dead for a, a long time. But in 2021, I accept no excuses. If you are a traitor, if you decide to go to those people, if you decide to be with them and have their children and take on their ideology, take on the ideology of those people who want to kill you and eliminate you off the face of the earth, you stay there. You deal with it. I have no sympathy for you. If you I'm not going to say that because I'm not going to get in trouble. I'm a smart man. But if anything happens to you, let's put it this way. If anything bad happens to you, it's not our problem. It's yours. You made your own bed. You sleep in it. There was a video that I did on my channel. I don't remember where the uh, what day it was. Probably a couple of months ago I did it. And there was a white man that was in South Africa and had a South African wife, dark skin like this woman, and said that he was going, he said, are you ready to get raped? He literally said, are you ready to get raped? And joked about it. Don't care if it's his wife or not. You don't joke about shit like that. He probably has raped people before. Who knows? He probably goes out and rapes people in South Africa when she's at home making his money, his, uh, his, uh, his, his meal while he's out there supposedly saying he's making money and he's raping people. Who knows? But she laughed about it, thought it was fucking funny. I didn't think it was funny at all. But like I said, this is what happens when you get with these people. You got stories horror stories of these women getting with these men and they lose their lives you got black men getting with the women that look like him his skin tone i should say okay and they wind up getting killed they get themselves in trouble okay nothing good comes from this at all and now you have a demon seed inside of your stomach that you've already given birth to and are going to take on the ideologies of this man just like you have submitted to him. You have submitted to this man's ideologies. You hate your own people. You hate yourself. And I don't give a damn who has a problem with that. That is the reality. If you are a black man or a black woman in a relationship with someone who is racist in that society, you are allowing them to do that to you. You are allowing them to have that particular view on you and you're putting yourself in the thick of it. You're going right into the flames, okay? Right into the, uh, you know, what they say, uh, out of the frying pan, into the fire. That's exactly where you've gone, into the flames. She knows that this man has racist tendencies, that he's truly a racist, period. Because she knows this man is the fucking leader of the damn Hawaiian, what do you call it? The Hawaiian chapter of the Proud Boys. She knows what the Proud Boys are about. I just read to you the article where it says she takes on his beliefs. She supports it. She has to know what Nazis were about. The pure race, blonde, blue eyes. Anybody else besides that is inferior and can be disposed of. But she still supports this and decide to lay down and have a child with him. This is this is sad. She literally just decided to become a slave. She literally decided to spend her life, the rest of her life in this marriage as a slave. Swirlers will never report on this. Swirlers will, if they even discuss this, will probably explain it away. Hard, hard, hard. It's going to be hard to do that. You're going to have a hard time trying to explain this shit away. But this is the reality, ladies and gentlemen. This is why. When you ask me why I do videos against interracial dating, I do videos against interracial dating because of this. We're going to have black people having children with these racist people, those children growing up to be racist against their own people, and taking on the ideologies of our enemies. It's crazy. Anyway, let me know what you think. Thank you for giving me this uh, information, and I'll talk to you next time. I'm out.